Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a new book today. It is new to me. Um, this is Ticket to Dreams by Carolina Kubikoska. I hope I said that right. I'm not great with names. Um, I was really, really excited to get this book back in the summer of 2017. It is now January of 2018 and <laughs> I totally forgot to do a video on this book. So I'm going to do it today. Um, I had her first book, the Poe Druggy Stroni Snoo book, which I really liked. I did a um, color with me video and I'll, I'll um, post that at the end. I don't know if I ever did a, a flip through of the entire book, but if you want me to just put it down at the bottom. It's such a stunningly beautiful book. Both of her books are amazing. But this one I was really excited to get because um, it's spiral bound. And a lot of books are coming spiral bound now because people are really interested in that. And it helps whether you're right handed or left handed. So um, it is foiled. The cover has a lot of foiling in if you can see that. Apologize for all the noise. It is storming here today. In New Orleans. See, I got it in July 17, and it's, it's January. It's today's my birthday, January 27, 18. So, alrighty, let's get started. This is your nameplate, and all right, we're just gonna start flipping. This book compared to her last book, it is heavy, heavy cardstock. I mean, this it will take anything. Um, if you do your alcohol markers, though, it, it is going to bleed through because, you know, it's double-sided. Um, I, I don't, I can't read any of the story, so it's in her language. But um, the pictures are amazing. I've done watercolor washes and it doesn't really buckle or do anything. I, I just love this grayscale dark look. Some people hate it. I love it. She's got a lot more animals in this one. What do you call that? A catacorn? I love her versions of things. I know she's a tattoo artist. She is just so talented. I wish I could get a tattoo from her. I don't have any, but Caroline, if you're listening, you can be my first. Come get me a tattoo. <laughs> She's beautiful. I love these two pages. Did I skip a page? No, they're so thick. It just feels that way. Look how pretty this is. I would definitely use my um I would use my neo colors in here and my Coran Dash colored water pencils in these it, and it wouldn't be um it really wouldn't soak through so bad. Okay. <clears throat> if you want that vibrant watercolor look, it won't buckle the page. It may soak through a little bit, but like if I did this color and watercolor, to me, this, if it soaked through a little bit, it wouldn't bother me because this is in another language and it, it doesn't bother me. You know, it would look kind of cool, I think so. We've got eyeballs on the back of this moth, which is awesome. I love that. I've seen this one colored several times on Pinterest and just gorgeous. I've seen all of these on Pinterest. Love her. Look at those eyes. Can you see her eyes? Are amazing. This owl, I'm holding him. I've got something special for him for that one. That one's going to be hung up in my room. And I do know that it is telling a story. I just wish I knew 
what it was saying, what the story was. Because this is in English. <laughs> I love this teacup with the with the um, castle. This is a really nice page. It's so hard to decide which one you want to do when you get in this book. Really, I just saw this one covered the other day on Instagram. Love this. Eyes, big and bright eyes. They look into the reality around us, nudging of fins. You leave the golden dust path to somewhere else, someone else. Even she can find her dreams. You know that because you have found yours. On this one, I used because I don't know if you can see it. It's like sparkly and shiny. See, um, I used these pearl colors I found on Amazon. I'm gonna get some more colors now. I bought it specifically for this book because I thought it would be beautiful. And they're all pearlescent watercolors. You just drop a couple of drops of water in here and that's all you need because it spreads really, really um, good. So um, I'll post a link to these as well. They are such beautiful colors. So that's what I used for this page. Well, most of the items on this page. Some of them I did not. This one I used a lot of um, Prismas. The Prisma, Pr Prisma Premieres I used. And then I tried... Um, What's her name? Elliston? Elliston? I tried Helen Elliston's book um, for doing the crystals. I had never really done the crystals like that before. So I really, really like how that came out using the white, um, the white signio to trace around it. Now I really, really like how this page came out. This is the only page I'm, I'm thinks to creep, gives me the creep factor. The face on the, um, fish. I really don't get it. It's kind of creepy. I don't get it. That's just me. This is really pretty. This is from the cover. Reminds me of Mary Poppins. Oh, this one's single-sided. You could do lots of goodness with that one. The rabbits with the three eyes. They're creepy, but I love it. Really. Coloring test pages. I seriously did not realize that that was in English until halfway through, y'all. See, the first one was not in English, so I just assumed that it was not in English. So now I'm curious if it is. Huh. It really is. I'm going to have to go read it now. 
Okay, this is the book. Lots of pages. You get a lot for your money. Real thick, nice, real quality books. I actually, the only way I was able to get this book, because uh, it's always out of stock, I messaged her. I think I messaged her on Facebook. And she sent me a link to where I could get it. And that's how I was able to receive it. And it came really fast, like a week. Uh, a week to eight days I, I got this book so I really, really love it it is expensive um, you know because it's overseas and all the shipping and everything but it's one of those books that you have to have in your collection if you like this kind of stuff so it was worth it to me and I'm excited to color in it I can't wait to show you guys some more finished pics on my Instagram if you haven't followed my Instagram the link is down at the bottom here it's Orion's Girl 93. All my social media is Orion's Girl 93. So just Google it and you'll find everything that I'm on. So, um, yeah, I appreciate it. Please, if you have not subscribed, please hit that button and the likes up. It really helps me out. I appreciate y'all so much. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much.